All right, welcome. This is the homework solution for week 11. Here we have Monday, October 14th. Here it says the graph shows the typing rate for three students using this information for the graph to answer each question one through four. Okay, number one it says match each statement with the correct student's graph. The students may be matched to more than one statement. Typing fastest, typing the slowest, types 50 words per minute, types 120 words in three minutes. Okay. So there's different ways of doing this, um, but to look at the fastest, I'm going to look at the unit rate, okay? I'm going to look at the slope, and I'm going to um, figure it out, okay? So let's get the first slope of Julie. Remember, slope, by definition, is m is equal to the change of y over the change of x. All right, so let's do that. What is the change of y here? It goes from zero all the way up. Oh, we, well, we need a dot first, so let's put a dot here. So right here, okay? All right, because that's the next intersection, okay? So it looks like it is going up how much here? All the way to 60, so that is what? 60 minus zero which is just 60. Then the bottom one is how much the x is changing, which is this, which is what? That's two minutes. So two. So that is the slope. The slope is 60 over two, which can simplify into what? For Julie, it looks like her slope is m is equal to 60 over two, which is 30 over one. So it is 30 what? 30 words for one minute. Okay. So uh, it looks like it's covering up. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write it next to Julie's name rather. So for Julie, her slope is 30 words in one minute per minute and not in one minute yeah in one minute yeah you could say in one minute if you want let's do Molly's okay how much we got to grab a point so looks like we can grab oh right here you can grab that that's the intersection here okay and that one looks like for Molly it looks like what her Delta Y how much is her Y changing all the way to zero all the way to 100 so 100 goes up divide that by the y the delta x which is to change in the x axis which is time which is 2 we can simplify this into uh, 50 over 1 so we can say for molly it would be let's see that is 50 Oops, sorry, that's bad. 50 words in uh, one minute, okay? What I did was I just simplified using my fractions, okay? Uh, next one, let's grab a point here. So let's see, two, oh, perfect. That's easy. And the delta y goes on top which is 40 and we divide that by our delta x which is our change in our x-axis which is time that is just one so this one would be 40 words in one in one minute Okay. So, who types the fastest? 30 words per minute, 50 words per minute, or 40 words per minute? It would be who? It would be Molly. Molly looks like she's the one that types the fastest. So, Molly is the one that types the fastest. And Molly at 50 words per minute. All right, that is Molly right there. So the fastest would be fastest would be Molly at 50 words per minute. Who types the slowest?
It looks like it is Julie. She types the slowest so she, because she has the least amount of words, which is 30. So we would say 30. Uh, we would say Julie at 30 words per minute. Okay, I just put M-I-N for minutes. Okay, there you go. Who can type 50 words per minute? Again, that looks like that is Molly. So Molly at 50 words per minute. And who looks like Molly does that? And who types 120 words in three minutes? <clears throat> in three minutes. Okay, let's look at Julie. Julie goes 30 words in one minute. So in three minutes, we have to multiply that by three. So Julie would go 90 words in three minutes. Okay, because we multiply that by three. Uh, to get Molly speed, we times that by three. That's 150 words in three minutes. And um, Steve, is that called Steve? Yep, Steve times this by three. So that's 120 words per minute in three minutes. Okay. So, which one types 120 words in 3 minutes? Looks like it is Steve. So, we would just say Steve right here. Steve types 3 words per minute. Okay? So, you notice how we got the slopes and the unit rates. Okay, for all of them. This is just the unit rate. It's just the slope divided by 1. Okay? Write an equation to represent Steve's graph. Remember, the equation that we wrote about is y equals let me just make this y equal m x where m is the slope okay that's the equation there's a plus b here but we don't have that right now the plus b is going to be zero anyways okay those are the starting values so write an equation to represent steve's graph so steve wrote 40 words per minute so it would be 40 over 1 so steve's slope is 40 over 1 so the equation should be let's just write it out y equal what is his slope it is, we even wrote it here, 40 over 1, right? 40 words in one minute. So 40 over 1, then we put the x right there, okay? Normally, there's a plus b here, so I'm just going to write plus 0, okay? Because the y-intercept here is 0. Don't worry about it if you don't understand the plus 0. We're going to cover that uh, two weeks from now. Okay, what is the rate at which Julie types? Julie types 30 words in one in three minutes. So let's just write that. Okay. So we would write Julie. Types 30 words per one minute. Okay. And complete the following statement. <laughs> this should be a statement. With the correct numbers and names. Molly types blank more words per minute than Julie. Molly types how much? Molly types 50 words. And Julie types 30 words. So Molly types how many more? Uh, so 30 minus 50 minus 30 minus 50. So that looks like it is... 20 let me show you the math if it doesn't make sense okay so molly here types 50 words okay julie here types how many words 30 okay how much more words is this compared to this okay how much more is 50 greater than 30 yep you're right it's 20 so we would say that Julie types 20 more words per minute than Molly types 20 more words per minute than Julie. Blank can type 100 words in three minutes. Who 
types 30 um, 100 word 150 words in three minutes we saw that as molly okay do you see how useful the unit rate is okay so we would say molly can type 150 words in three minutes after typing five minutes Steve would have type blank more words than blank after typing five minutes Steve would type blank more words than blank mm. Steve only types faster than Julie so we would probably have to write Julie here because that's the only one Steve writes faster than Julie Steve does not write faster than Molly Molly's at 50 Steve is at 30 and the lowest is Julie so the only one that Steve types faster than is Julie so let's write Julie here and let's fill it in so here and after what five minutes so we have to multiply this by five right so multiply this by five that would be in let's write this out so multiply this by five this would be what 150 words in five minutes and Steve would type how much times this by five that would be 200 so that's 200 words in five minutes I just put the letters okay so how much more did Steve type um, 200 subtract 150 looks like it is 50 so Steve typed 50 more words than Julie another way you could do it is do you see here Steve types faster than Julie by 10 words in one minute right 10 words in one minute already so you just have to multiply that by five that gets you 50 more words okay what is the what is the form of equation representing our proportional relationship and what is similar about such graphs okay so we know that the this is the equation for all proportional relationship is the the equation for all proportional relationship Ooh. oops for all re relationships there you go okay there's really a plus zero here but that is the correct equation and please note where m is the slope and we also say because where where the starting value is zero or you can say um, that it or you can say or it crosses the point zero zero which is the origin okay these are all the criteria for a proportional relationship okay so there you go those are basically all your solutions for uh, week 11 uh, Monday October 15 homework solution